Wouldn't you love it if your fonts were much more responsive? As I shrink and enlarge my screen, can you see the fonts have a step change because of the desktop and tablet mobile sizes that we've predefined? It goes duh, duh, duh. Now with the font clamp, which we did a video on not long ago, you can make it be much more fluid responsive. But luckily for us, rather than using that method, you can now use a similar method inbuilt within Elementor because it now allows you to add some calculations into the typography. You can, add, you can add them elsewhere as well. I'm focused on typography here to make your fonts more fluid responsive. Now we have two headers. Uh, I've set the sizes just to give you some context. One REM is equal to 16 pixel. That's kind of the root HTML or the browser default. 3 REM, 3 times 16 is 48. But we're going to add in a calculation here so that we are kind of, we're hitting the maximum 3 REM or 48 pixels when the screen is at a certain size. But as we shrink down to another size, the smallest it will ever become is 1 REM 16 and it will be gradual. We're not going to get the jump change. Let me show you what we do. We have over here a third header. If I go to typography, rather than setting the size in pixel or REM, I'm now going to use a pencil function down here. Now, before we carry on, I must make clear, make sure you have not preset anything in the desktop, tablet or mobile mode. We only have to do this once in the desktop and it will feed it through. The second thing you want to bear in mind is that we are now going to jump to another website called Font Size Clamp Generator. The link is in the video description. If you are very mathematical minded, you can work out the values you need to put in here. But let me just show you why I think this tool is super, super sweet. I am going to say my minimum viewpoint is 380. Okay, so when you hit 380 in size, I do not want the font to go below 1 REM. And when you hit a thousand, that's the point when you hit the three REM, okay? But in between there, the size is allowed to shrink and grow. So the maximum uh, is uh, three REM and the minimum is one REM. Now over here, I'm getting, well, let's just pop the value in one REM and three REM there. It has now given us the values that I need to stick in to elemental into my typography. If you could have worked this out, go for it, be my guest, but I would even struggle. I'm just going to copy that code. Now we don't need all of it. I'm just going to copy it and we go back over to our page. Now I'm just going to paste it over here and I'm going to say that you don't need the semicolon at the end. So look, there was a semicolon there. You don't need that. And where it says font size, you can actually get rid of that as well. All you need is the clamp, uh, open bracket, all the way to the close bracket or the closing parentheses. Copy that, we go over to style. Remember, typography, make sure you've clicked the pencil and then all you do is paste it there. And that has now pasted it in and you can see the size is now up to three REM because we're on the desktop. Remember, once you hit a thousand pixels, you stay there. And as it shrinks down, it will gradually uh, decrease. So let's just hit update and let's go and have a look at that on our page. And one thing I want to point out though, the 1000 mark is roughly round about here on the screen. Okay. So until we hit that, it is not going to start shrinking, but you must bear in mind though that, that what that means is your font will never go below three RE REM until you hit the threshold. And also because I'm just shrinking my browser, I'm not going to hit the full 380. Okay. So look, as I start to shrink, we get a step change with the first two, but the bottom one is gradually shrinking, 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 shrinking. And because I can't get my screen fully to 380, there's a bit more to go, but it would have got there. Okay. And as we increase, look, gradual, 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 while the other two, the step change, see what I mean there? And that is done by using this font size clamp generator and the feature we now have over here. So Elementor 3.10, this is amazing. It's so good that they've done this. And I think this makes you want to use font clamp even more. I hope this helps you to make your website so much more responsive. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.